is not about stop and frisk. These are violent felons. These are the felons that, that shot and killed two people that got engaged, Tanya and, and DeAndre. This is about little Bryson on the freeway. This is getting those people who victimize our community, who come out here. One of the people involved as a suspect uh, cut off his head. So we're looking for probation and parole violators. We're using search warrants, which are, which are gathered with probable cause. This is not about uh, stop and throw. Absolutely not. Chief, can you tell us a little about how it works? How your work goes about, how you go about it? Uh, a number of teams have put together uh, information on those that are wanted in this area, uh, those who are on parole and probation, those who have violated parole and probation, uh, those who have outstanding felony warrants, those who are known uh, to carry illegal weapons uh, and victimize our community. That's what this is about. Chief, what message does, does this send both the criminals and to uh, and the citizens? Well, the criminals need to make better decisions. I mean, that, that's the bottom line. You know, if you make a better decision, then you don't have to deal with us. Uh, for the community, we support our community. Our community supports us. And as I indicated, we are unapologetic about keeping our community safe. We're going to do this work. This is what the police do. One more question. Chief, uh, the President of the United States yesterday had a long news conference. Taking some hits saying he's very soft on crime. This seemed to be a, a totally different tone. I don't want to, you know, I'm not a politician. I don't get into all of that, but here's the bottom line. You know, my job is to enforce the law constitutionally, which is what we're going to do. Those people who victimize our community, uh, those people who carry illegal weapons, those people who, who shoot in the cars indiscriminately, those people who, who, who shoot young couples in their homes uh, and, and, and bounding gag them uh, and are out uh, as, as a, a parole violator, those people we're going to address. We're going to get them off the street. They're not going to just stop. They're going to continue to victimize the community. We have a responsibility to this community to get them off the street. Hey, That's Chief, what we're doing. Hey, Chief, before we go, we just need to come to Operation Bryson today. Yeah, so Operation Bryson and I uh, will have an opportunity to meet with a number of chiefs this afternoon, and we're going to be talking about Operation Bryson and how we're going to roll that out. At the end of the day, you talked about 600 gun-related arrests, 700 gun illegal weapons on the street in your first 30 days. Can you do a reset on what you're up against the line? I mean, it, 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 it's what it is, you know. I mean, I didn't think this job was going to be easy, uh, so I'm not surprised by that. Uh, I wake up every day encouraged. we got a lot of work to do. we got to roll up our sleeves. Uh, these are the type of initiatives that we need to do, uh, and we're going to do these initiatives constitutionally. Thank you, Chiefs. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.